Patrick and I'm a storyteller. I work in the schools with students of all ages and also in the seniors program for masks. I have been a mask artist since the fall of 2010. And this is my guide dog, Tulia, and she comes with me to all of my gigs. My storytelling is uh, quite unique and I think it's really great for the kids and I have a lot of fun doing it too. I, I do tell stories of all types and I can tell folk tales and historic and epic and all of that but I really tell a lot of autobiographical stories about what it's like to grow up as a kid who was totally blind. So there's a lot about um, how I did things but it's all in story and you know how I learned to do things about kids that uh, you know were bully kids and kids that were great kids friends of mine my family you know how I learned to read how I learned to ride a bike how I rode a, drove our boat one summer you know and then uh, the older kids more also about first job and trying to get jobs and you know so a lot of it is a universal experience but it's also very unique and so they also get to see um, there are stories about how I got my guide dogs and my guide dog stealing stuff from a pet store and, <laughs> you know different different stories about aspects of my life and I find that the kids really like that and they also have great questions that come from the stories about how I do other things so I think it's a really great artistic thing. You won't see this type of storytelling in anyone else. It's very, it's pretty unique. Mm -hmm. But also, it's a, also a really good educational experience for the kids. I think with art, you don't always know what people are going to take away with them, uh, because you don't know the experience they're coming at it from. You know, I guess what I hope is that they go away being more comfortable with with someone like me if they saw someone like me outside or somewhere else and also understanding that we're all different and yet we're all very similar too so I think those are some of the messages I also think if they've come to Canada from other places they don't they maybe haven't seen a lot of people with disabilities they've never seen a guide dog they don't know so again it helps them to get used to our country and the way it is you know for people with disabilities here but again I don't know I mean kids will say things to me that uh, I didn't even think of in my stories you know they'll depending on where they are and what their experiences are already and you know what's going on with them at the moment so but I just hope really that they enjoy themselves that they get some knowledge and that they feel more comfortable I would say.